you're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell. What's going on? You locked in with the Innovators YouTube. You already know I got the best interviews right here, man. I got Fresno, California in the building, man. I got Bankroll Rado in the studio. What's popping? What's popping with it? What's popping? How you doing? Pretty good. First, I want to say it's a pleasure and a blessing to have you here. I appreciate you coming through today, bro. Oh, yeah. It's a blessing to be here. Just to start off, uh, let the people know. I already <laughs> told them where you was from. Let them know where you from, where they can find you on social media. You feel me? I'm from Fresno, California, 559. You can find me on Instagram at bankroll.rado or Twitter, bankroll underscore rado. Yeah. Just to start off, how's everything going for you today? It's pretty good. Ain't typical day. Yeah. Ain't saying nothing too major. Yeah. It's a good day for you? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> definitely. I'm feeling good today, definitely. Um, just to start off, like, uh, how did you grow up? Uh, were your parents around? Like, what, what was that like? Yeah, I grew up, I, I, I had a typical childhood, though, you feel me? Even though Pops was playing basketball and shit, yeah. my parents separated, you ain't saying, mom, single mom, Pops, doing what he do, you yeah. feel me? I ain't grow up no different from my partners that I'm around, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But, yeah. they ain't, you feel me? Yeah. That's for us to know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? They ain't, that's, yeah. What, what was friends though, like? Cause boy, uh, it's it's what you make it. Fresno, yeah. what you make it is. Yeah. <laughs> it it could be born if you a born person, yeah. or like if you just live there all your life. You yeah. ain't saying you didn't did everything. Other than that, I mean, it's you feel me. It ain't nothing to get into though, for real. Yeah. Like, but trouble. Yeah, you know what I'm saying let's. I don't know. Fresno is a, a mysterical city. I would say that motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Fresno different. Fresno different. Even though it's small, it's different for real. I feel like the first time I, I didn't really go out to Fresno for show for show for like I feel like three years ago. And when I went out there, like I was still doing it, but I was just starting off and niggas was like, Bro, you in Fresno? Like it gets smirkish out yeah. there. And I'm like <laughs> I'm like for real? I'm like, all right. I'm like, I I'm like, what what niggas on out here? Like Yeah, they yeah. You you yeah. I didn't realize it was it was so much shit going down. You can place. get into a lot of shit. You <laughs> feel me? You can get into a lot of shit in Fresno. Like yeah. you ain't know saying people just think cause it's Fresno, it's oh it's Fresno, like, nah, it's the same thing around the world. You feel yeah. me? Like then you, you get killed out here for real. Like it don't matter what you doing. It don't yeah. matter if you not thugging, you playing sports, any of that the same thing happen everywhere around the world. So People be trying to make it seem like it's just, you know what I'm saying? Some places, it's, shit don't happen. Yeah. Like, no, nigga, you would get killed here, too. Do you think um, Northern California, they kind of, like, overlook Fresno? Everybody overlook Fresno. Yeah. For sure, because it's Fresno. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? People, when you go out of state, and you be like, I'm from Cali. Like, I swear to God, every time I go out of state, they be like, where you from? I'm from Cali. You from L.A.? Like, yeah. damn, I ain't, I ain't even sure. You from Oakland? You from, from, no, I'm from Fresno. You feel me? So it's. It's it's overlooked. It's probably because it's in the middle, though. You know, you always really overlook the the person in the middle. Yeah. It's like we're trying to get from point A to point B. It yeah. would be point A, L.A., point B would be the Bay. You feel yeah. me? Fresno knows, like, we don't really care about yeah. what y'all got going y'all, on. Y'all, like, y'all are really, like, the middle point between it. It's like, but y'all got your own shit going on. Yeah, like, y'all... it's definitely our own shit going on. That's yeah. what people fail to realize. Yeah. It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's... It's a lot going on yeah. in Fresno. When you live in Fresno and you really out there and you moving around, you know it's a lot going on. It's yeah. not. Don't think of it little because it's Fresno. Yeah. Like, just because you from this big-ass city and we from this little town, you feel me, don't think y'all got just more going on. That's yeah. not the case. You yeah. feel me? You would come out here, get your ass beat in yeah. some more. You feel yeah. me? Not like, don't. Sure. You <laughs> ain't saying so. Not for yeah. sure. For sure. Um. Do you do you play basketball? Like, are you good at yeah, basketball? Yeah, I used to hoop. I okay. used to play sports. I used okay. to hoop for sure. How I got those skills. How is it like with your pops being a hooper? Like, how is that? Like, shit, it was. I don't know. People look at it different because they not me. You yeah. feel me? My dad was just like he was a regular person to me. Yeah. You know what you I'm saying? It like, wasn't a celebrity like, superstar or. Yeah. You ain't saying because he who he is who he is. I ain't go through nothing as no child or nothing that like that's what I be I be weak as fuck when I be seeing like you feel me the comments and shit on the little Thizzler posts and yeah. all that shit. And they just be like that nigga daddy play basketball. That nigga ain't go through nothing. That nigga yeah. ain't with the shit. Woo, yeah. woo. Like I'm not worried about none of that. I would be a hundred with you. I'm not worried about none of that shit they talking about. You feel yeah. me? I had a like you asked my mom. My mom was right here. She tell you I had a regular childhood. It was yeah. no. 
You feel me? Like I'm saying. But people say like you had like a daughter. You was born. Yeah, daughter, daughter, basically, yeah. like you know what I'm saying. They don't even know who my dad is for real. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like come on, like nigga, yeah. he just did what he had to do. He made it. You know yeah. what I'm saying? He used his talent. He did something with. A lot of people be mad because they got talents they not doing nothing with. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They feel like because who he is. You know what I'm saying? I just had a, a golden childhood, like. Yeah. Yeah, I. Right. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's the yeah, thing about right. the internet. Motherfuckers really don't know shit. Come on, <laughs> Damn, come on. Talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, if that's the case, I, I, you, I should been blew up. Like, yeah. I should be big right now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I should be big right now if yeah. that's the case. Like, yeah. but it's not. Yeah. But that's on them. Nah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? People always gonna have their little opinions. They don't be knowing For what sure. the fuck going on. Um, who would you say is the face of friends though? Well, I would say the face of Fresno. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I it ain't even you feel me? It's not even being cocky or nothing, but okay, I'm not gonna say I'm the face of Fresno. I'm gonna say I feel like I'm doing more than what I've seen come from Fresno. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm the face of Fresno. I yeah. wouldn't just because Fresno got a lot of talent. It's yeah. just a lot of people ain't been heard. Yeah. How I've been heard. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's you feel like me, you but sure. yeah, yeah, you feel me. How was that Thizzler freestyle? I, I, I see. You. I was fucking with your shit. You did a hook. You did a verse. Yeah, they I was fucking with it. They they wanted me to do a hook because like they said like a lot of my songs really like people catch on to it because the hook. Yeah. You feel me? My verses be cool, but my hooks is what really catch everybody's yeah. attention. Yeah. So they was like they wanted me to do a hook and shit. For I guess this was the first year they did it. Yeah. So they was like we want you to do a hook and shit. You feel yeah. me? So I'm thinking I'm finna just do a hook. Yeah. But then like they was like yeah you feel me y'all can fuck around go crazy and shit. So I just did the little. <laughs> Shit at the end, but the cipher was cool. It was better than what I thought. I'm not gonna lie, yeah. I thought I was gonna be fucking up and some more <laughs> shit, but yeah, you, it, it was cool. multiple takes of the cipher, or yeah, no, yeah, no, it's no, like no. it's not like you go in there and what you do is what we post in, like hell no, nah. because if that's the case, it'd be a lot of shit going on yeah. for real, because niggas be in there fucking up, yeah. oh god, but yeah, that shit like if you in the studio, yeah, you feel me, like yeah. if you fuck up, we gonna redo it, tight though, like yeah, that it, shit, the yeah. way it came out with the different angles and shit, I'm yeah, fucking with yeah, that it, shit so. was a good experience, yeah. oh god, yeah. Yeah. I fuck with that. Um, as far as like we we know, there's a lot of street shit going on in France. Now, do you do you do you politic or you gang it's, banging? You got nah, look, look, I don't gang bang. You yeah. feel me? I don't gang bang. I'm from a clique though. You feel? Me? I'm from BBG, yeah. Blood Brother Gang. But yeah. I don't. Actually, I heard that before you started. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I don't. I, I don't that. gang bang though. But yeah. niggas be trying to put the title on me and my partner just because who we be around. You yeah. get what I'm saying? We ain't gonna. You know, speak on it, but yeah. niggas be trying to say, oh, yeah, they from there, or they from there, they yeah. from there, they fuck with them, they fuck with them, but, you know what I'm saying? It's okay if that, come do something, you feel yeah. me? If that's how y'all feel, you gonna have to do something, because yeah. at the end of the day, ain't nobody ducking nothing. I feel like Fresno, it got, a, it got, it do got a lot of gangs, for sure, right? For sure, hell yeah. That? You think it's hard I to go there and not get into that, or? Uh, yeah. I mean, if you a follower, you feel me? Because I got a lot of, I got a lot of brothers and shit that like they family gang bang. Yeah. You feel me? Like gang bang, gang yeah. bang, but they don't gang bang. You yeah. feel me? You feel, a lot of people be trying to say it's the same thing. You feel me? Clicks and gang banging and shit, but yeah. uh, I I wouldn't say that. If you a real gang member, you know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, it, it ain't hard to. You know what I'm saying? You just gotta be yourself. That's anywhere though. Like yeah. if you being yourself, you gonna avoid the bullshit. You gonna do what you wanna do. Yeah. Do you feel like y'all politics divide the music scene at all? When For you sure. Say that? Hell yeah. That's a big part. That's yeah. a big part of Fresno. <laughs> like, that's, yeah. For sure. Yeah. For sure. And it's crazy because it's talent from everywhere. Like, yeah. I know at least one person from every hood that's cold at rapping. Do you feel like niggas should put the politics aside? That's, or, or you think That's it, on them. Yeah. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I don't politic how they do. Like, yeah. I don't really be caring where people are from. I yeah. go based off of like your loyalty. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't really care where you from or what you doing, what you didn't did. Like yeah. you ain't did nothing to me, yeah. or you ain't did nothing to nobody I care about. Exactly. So, so why, why would y'all exactly, yeah, right. they ain't got nothing to do with me. I get what you're saying, not for sure. Um, as far as like uh, being in the, you independent right now, right? Mm -hmm. How has that been for you? It's just smooth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, you gotta you deal with this or nah? Yeah, it's like a little you distribution. Feel me? Yeah, how is that been going? The smooth for sure. They yeah. definitely helped me build my fan base. Yeah, no cap. Like yeah. they definitely helped me get heard. Like yeah. I ain't gonna sit and say they didn't. They for sure did. Yeah, nah, for sure. I ain't gonna lie. I've been saying it. This guy, you got, you got, they got some of the hottest artists. In Hell the yeah, they roster. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> they got some shit over there. I ain't gonna lie. They got some shit over there. 
I feel like back in the day, niggas, if a nigga was like doing hella shit with this, or they would talk hella shit. And that's talking about like, I'm talking about when I was in like, I say like 20. 13, 2014, niggas were making it like it was like it was a joke almost. I'm like, yeah. I told nigga, I'm like, y'all niggas tripping. If y'all don't think things are going up right now, you you don't know who hot. Exactly. They yeah. man, they look, they got some <laughs> they got some roster. They got a roster over there. Like they got some they got some artists for real. Do you like being independent though? Like uh it, is that what is it been good for you? It's been you want to sign? Like yeah, what is it's it? Been, it's been good for me. It's I ain't never I don't know what it feel like to you feel me? Actually, you know, major labels and shit. Yeah. I don't know what that feel like, so yeah. I wouldn't be able to say it being independent, or being signed is better. I hear being independent is better, like a motherfucker. Sure. But yeah. it's everybody got their own opinion based yeah. on stuff. You get what I'm saying? Some yeah. people might like being signed to a label, yeah. would and you some sign? people. It depends. Yeah. Like <laughs> it depends. I'm not finna do the most to sign though. Yeah. Like I'm not finna. Yeah. But, die, for sure You know niggas out here Be doing all type of shit Just to get that record deal Yeah we, Even going yeah. out their character <laughs> <laughs> Yeah we ain't finna do that It's finna Man you know if they fuck with you They fuck with you Yeah Do you like the The spotlight that music brings Oh it's uh, I ain't gonna lie At first when I Like really started doing Taking it serious It was like Ah, right, you feel me? we finna be popping. You know what yeah, you saying we, we got cold music. We we these niggas music weak. Like yeah. you feel me? But then like when when you start doing it for real and like you going through like real life shit and then like your music put a bigger impact on your life for real. Cause it's like now you got people from a lot of places that don't like you and don't even know you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you start hearing your name in places you've never been before. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like I ain't never I ain't never been to prison and yeah. my name is in prison right now. Like, my brother tell me my name is in. I ain't never been there. That's crazy. That's weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, it, it get weird. Like, that's what people don't be understanding. People be thinking this shit is like, you, you feel me? Like, no, that's, it's real. Even yeah. though you're doing music, you're still in real life. Man. Yeah. So, it's, yeah. Nah, for sure. I think, uh, I mean, we've been, it's always been like this, but I feel like even things are now more out there with like the new with social media and shit but like being an artist can be very dangerous for sure like for sure y'all let niggas know where you gonna be for sure y'all post these flyers for sure niggas, niggas always trying to do weird shit you gotta watch you gotta watch you feel me like it's a lot that come with it for sure it's a dangerous job I ain't it, gonna it, lie I would say yeah <laughs> being an artist is definitely a dangerous career yeah. and if people don't be people take it as a, like they be thinking a lot of people be capping. You know, yeah. everybody gonna know he capping, he capping, he capping. We you know his songs and shit. But a lot of people really telling the truth, like yeah. a motherfucker, and that yeah. shit da is dangerous. Yeah, not for sure. How would you say, uh, like, Corona affected you? The coronavirus. Uh, I no, I say if it didn't happen, I feel like I'd be further. Yeah, if, you feel you me? Might you would have been able to like do shows be out more, more you ain't yeah. seen i've been able to like network more yeah. than what i was doing yeah so yeah I taking the I'd vaccine nah i ain't i don't know i'd be, <laughs> I'd be iffy on that yeah. type of stuff <laughs> 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 i don't know I don't, I ain't that yeah, yeah i don't my know took it. shout out to them for doing that they thing. took it they took it they took it but they i don't all, know you feel me? they're a little older you feel me so they they might it might, it might be better for them me i'm like yeah, oh, no. they. I, 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 I ain't ready for it. I ain't gonna speak on it, but I feel like I don't know. It's some shit going on for real. I feel like they got some other shit going on. Nah, it's, I've been seeing some weird ass shit where like people they they get the shot and then a nigga put like a magnet on their shoulder and that motherfucker stick now. You see what I'm saying? Like, what, I, ain't, what's up with that? I ain't like, got time for that. I don't know what the world coming to, but I hope it ain't what I be thinking because I be thinking some other shit. When you first started making music. What was their reaction? Uh, as far as like what? Like people was fucking with you? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I, I would never say I was just, besides my homies, like you feel me? Because you know, if you got real partners, they're going to keep it solid about your yeah. music good or not. Yeah. So like besides my partners and shit, I would say I didn't really go through where it was like, damn, like your music weak, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you feel me? But it's some songs I did in the studio and the homies be like, that ain't it. You feel me? Like, yeah. you got to do something else. But yeah. besides, like, putting music out and taking it serious, I don't think I came across, like, none yet where it's like, bro, that shit don't slap. Yeah. For real, though. That's good. Now, your sound is real unique. And I, I remember when I first heard the... Uh, yeah, everybody uh, saying your, your that. Your first record... Um, not your first record, but the first record I heard from you was uh, 559 Baby. Mm -hmm. And I remember when I heard that motherfucker, I was like, 
this nigga hard. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, my mama. Oh, uh, like, Let me go figure out who the fuck this nigga is. Yeah. This nigga hella hard. But because it was like, on my ears, I'm like, I ain't heard a nigga sound like this. Yeah. Like, Newark cow, it, now fuck Newark cow, anywhere. Like, yeah. they go hard. Like, how did you create your sound? It was just uh, me, I'm going to say. It was just me. It was, it, it's being in the studio a lot. And then it's like, you know, I get different, like, vibes and shit. Like, you feel me? I got some shit where I'm actually rapping. Yeah. Like, real life rapping for real. But it's more of a, like, a, it's just me. Like, I don't even, I don't know. It just came upon, like. Yeah. It wasn't. I don't know. It's just me. That's I can't even describe that for real. When you made five five nine, baby, did you think it was going? Like, I did that whole. Movie? Nobody even. I swear to God, people don't even be thinking. I did that whole song in the studio, like bar for bar. For real. Swear to God, I did not write that song. Like, I did that song bar for bar in it's the crazy studio. How, how, how it can turn out like that. Oh like, God, like for real. Like I did that, man. That was that's one. Of, probably that's is my best song, and yeah. I did it in the studio bar for bar. Yeah. That's tight. <laughs> Do you usually be writing or what? Yeah. Yeah, I ain't really, like, freestyle type, you know, yeah. feel me? I, niggas that do that cold, for real. Yeah. I don't, like, if you could do that, you raw. Yeah. Like, yeah, I'm really, like, I like writing. Cause, yeah. I was, what I was, I was finna, I forgot what, I was, I was finna ask you something. I'm trying, I, I'm gonna come ill pop back in my head. I was finna ask you something about that. Uh, but as far as getting into music, like, how did that happen? It was just... At first, it was like, you know, extracurricular activities. You feel me? I used to play sports for real. Like, yeah. you feel me? I'm trying to play sports. You know, niggas trying to be like pops. You yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm trying to play sports. But then it's like, I always used to just, you know, my uncles and them, they used to freestyle and stuff. You know, if you had them uncles, they used to freestyle yeah. and shit. You know, the ones that's thugging for real. You know, yeah. they freestyle and rapping and shit. So yeah. I used to always hear my uncles rapping and shit. And it's like, music always played a big part in my life. Like, you feel me? I really listen to music. I listen to all type of music. Yeah. So, like, as far as taking it serious, it was more on the end. It was like, me and the homies like, bro, we finna start rapping. Yeah. No cap. We finna start <laughs> rapping. You feel me? It, on God, we finna start rapping. It was me, Quavo, Handy, KD. Who else was really, that, that was really, yeah, anybody else was really like trying to rap. But we like, yeah, we finna start rapping. Yeah. So, you know, we was like, fuck, we gonna start going to the studio. We found studio, all this shit. We finna start going to the studio. This is a minute ago. Yeah. This is a cool second ago. I was still, uh, I'm gonna say, what is it, 21? I'm gonna say, like, four, probably four years ago. Yeah. Probably like my senior year of high school. I graduated, what, six, 16? Yeah. Damn. So like I graduated five. in 2011. You got me. I was like, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So it was a minute ago, probably like five, four years ago. Yeah. You feel me? But anyway, we found studio all this shit. When the song made a little, little just trash. It's trash as hell now, but motherfuckers <laughs> was fucking with when we dropped it. We made a little yeah. record called Drill Me. Yeah. Oh, my God. That motherfucker boo boo for real. Like, yeah, but people were we slapping just, it. Though. People were really slapping it, though. Like, yeah. I motherfucker went up on YouTube, all this shit. You feel yeah. people were slapping it. Like, what the fuck? But after that, it was just like, you feel me? I started doing, I started like not really caring about music. I was just like, all right, I'm going to fuck around with it. You feel me? I was trying to figure out what I was finna do with myself. Yeah. Oh, God, like, you feel me? I wasn't playing sports no more and shit. So I'm like, I'm, finna, I'm trying to figure out what I'm finna do. Yeah. For real. So, you know, that's, you feel me? That's when bullshit start happening and all this shit. But it was just like, my other partners kept doing music, though. My other brothers kept doing music. You yeah. feel me? So, it was like they still doing music, you know what I'm saying? They had the little TNO shit in Fresno. Yeah. That shit was big for a minute. Yeah, I remember, uh, like, that was like two years like ago. Like, year, two years ago. Yeah, I Not remember somebody ago. was, that was hella funny. Yeah. Uh, somebody was hitting me was to interview them, like, two years ago. It just never happened. Oh, that shit crazy. Yeah. yeah. They they had they shit popping, you feel me? So it was still always, like, I was around music, you feel me? Yeah. My brother doing music and shit. But then, I don't know. I wrote Lay Me Down. Yeah. When I wrote the song, I showed my brother Handy. Yeah. You feel me? He was like, bro, this motherfucker go crazy. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm uh, I'm going to try to do something. So I recorded it at the studio. I never lay me down hella old. Lay me down like three years old. That's when they barely got dropped last year. Yeah. So I recorded it in the studio. I did a little snip. You know them snippets people do? Yeah. I did it posted on Facebook and went up. Yeah. I swear that motherfucker went up. On Facebook. Like, on Facebook. That motherfucker went <laughs> up. I was like, damn. I'm like, bro, we got to shoot the video, shoot the video. 
And I just left it alone. I stopped. I started bullshitting, like fucking around and shit, getting into bullshit. And yeah. it was just like, you feel me? But then it came. I don't. I don't even know how music came back. It was. I always stayed in the studio though. Where I could say I always. Yeah. You feel me? Any like my extra bread or shit, money I'm fucking off. I'm gonna yeah. go to the studio and just. Yeah. You make feel some, me? Make yeah. some. Make some. Yeah. Would yeah, you say that yeah. you take it serious now? For sure. Yeah. For sure. I ain't gonna sit here and cap and talk about I ain't no rapper. Yeah. You ain't know saying niggas be doing. It. I, I'm I'm trying to rap. Yeah. Oh God. You yeah. feel? Me? I'm trying to do music for yeah. real. This it's like it's therapeutic to me for sure. You yeah. feel me? So yeah. Uh, I remember what I was gonna ask you. It was a uh, bankroll. It, it, who who is all in bankroll and or how did you like your name? Come my about? my name was really just Rado. Yeah. You feel me? But then like when Thizzler hit me. And shit, you ain't saying when they was trying to do, you know, a little distribution thing. I'm like, all right, bet. You feel me? They was like, kind of like, you feel me? Like, you don't got like a name you want to go by? I'm like, nah, I don't, I don't really, I ain't fond of with an artist name. I'm not yeah. too fond with like an artist name. You feel me? I, yeah. So you feel me? But my uncle be calling me Ray, though. He called me Dope Boy. He called yeah. me Ray, though. They call me Lil Ray. Yeah. You feel me? So I'm like, I'm just going to just Ray, though, because that was my, my Instagram. But my Instagram name was Bankroll. Rado, yeah. and it was like, you feel me, your Instagram name, Catchy, you yeah. feel me, you want to use that? I was like, yeah. fuck it, we can use oh, it. Okay, I got you. Now, it is Catchy for sure. It definitely make you like, okay, like, let me see what this nigga talking about. Yeah. Um, I see you, are you a Milwaukee Bucks fan, or like, what's nah, going on Nah, I that? like the hats. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you, you feel me? You <laughs> wearing a Thizzler freestyle, too. Hey, hey, one. that's crazy you said that. Oh, God, when I put this hat on this morning, I was like, he finna ask me if I'm a Bucks fan. I swear <laughs> to God, on my life, me on my brother, I swear I knew you was finna ask that question. I, was, I see you wearing the freestyle. I was yeah. like, okay, I wonder, but you, you nah, know. Nah, I ain't no Bucks fan. Okay. I just like I just like hats. I There's just like some the hats. shit right now with, uh, with, with the Brooklyn Nets, for sure. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Is the NBA is crazy right now. Nah, for sure. If somebody never heard any music from you, which song would you tell them to listen to? Five Five Nine, baby. Yeah. Or 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 Fire. Yeah. Or uh, fucking with me. Yeah. Cause I got some unreleased shit though. That's fire. Yeah, fuck. you feel me? Yeah. But like out down. Or it's a couple songs on my uh my new project they just dropped, like Pressure and Dashboard. I would yeah. definitely tell them to go listen to those. Yeah, for sure. Um, as far as like. Selecting beats and working on lyrics. Uh, you said you'd be writing, but um, in the studio, I would come the beat selection. Like, how is that for you? I'm not gonna lie. Most of my songs, I write the song without the beat. Okay, for you real. You feel me? Yeah, that's crazy. I like, don't got like you can ask my brothers and them. I write the song without the beat, and then like I got partners that make beats that's like popping with their beats. You feel yeah. me? And then like all the other producers I meet, and I just act, ask them like. You got some beats right now and shit. They be like, yeah. You feel me? Like, shoot me a pack. You know what I'm saying? Shoot me a pack. You feel me? What you want for it? I'm just gonna go through all the beats and yeah. see what beat fit the lyrics I just came up with. And you gonna, so you gonna match the lyrics to the beat? Yeah. That's tight for sure. <laughs> Cause I feel like I could write. I can't really just make a song with the beat on. Yeah. Oh God, cause I think I get too caught up in the beat and yeah. then I, I lose focus on like. You feel me? The lyrics and shit. Like so, yeah. I I write my songs before I even listen to some. Do you ever find it difficult to match your lyrics to the beat? For sure, for sure. Cause they be like, damn. Like you got the beat in your head. Yeah. Like if I knew how to make beats, I'd be cold. I'm yeah. telling you, I'd be you cold. I mean, I I'd be cold. If I learn how to really produce and make beats, I'd be cold for yeah. real. Nah, that, that that's tight. Nah, I, I think that's tight though. Nah, I fuck with it. Um, you just dropped uh, your new project. Um, this is yeah, this year. Understand the misunderstood. W what was the mindset for that? That was, project is out on all platforms. Go slap that shit. Yeah, go tune into that if y'all ain't already. It was the mindset for that one was just. You feel me? When you listen to the songs, is the okay? The the title is understand the misunderstood. Which I it's a lot. it's. A lot of people in this world is misunderstood, you feel me? Yeah. And I be feeling like I'm one of them. Just yeah. a simple fact, my background. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, I got a pops that was in the league and shit, and I didn't went to jail for other shit. Yeah. You feel me? Like, yeah. really getting in trouble. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Really, you feel me? I'm, hey, I, you feel me? Like, my partners and, like, you feel me, my crowd, like, yeah. you wouldn't think my dad is who he is. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. you feel me? But it's... This is who I am, though. That's why I be trying to tell people, like, yeah. I don't, you, I'm not basing my life off him. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Because yeah. them type of people, you, ain't, you don't, 
you don't build yourself. Yeah. So when you lose the person that put you on, you lose yourself too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't. Not real shit. Uh, as far as like, well, you say you 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 went to jail. Or what yeah, happened? I I I stayed out of trouble my whole life. Like you feel me? Well, you know you get in trouble and shit. Yeah. You ain't bad kids running from the police and shit. Yeah. But actually going to jail, but I went. Last year, I went to jail three times back to back in Damn. Frisco, LA, and in Fresno. Damn. Just Can you say what for? Shit. You want to say what for? Yeah, it ain't and then the gun charges and shit. You ain't yeah. saying me. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah. You ain't saying just, yeah. you no. know, typical. I'm going to yeah. just say typical stuff. Yeah. Like, yeah, but. Three times back to back, though. Three times back to back. All in like, I'll say like a five month. Span. I went to jail twice in January, the beginning. In the same month. Yeah. What was January. Fucked up. I was nerve. I'm gonna say I was nervous for real. Like, yeah. oh shit. Like, you feel me? And it's not even a fact going to jail because they ain't scared of nobody. It's like, damn. What am I doing? You yeah. feel me? I'm not trying to be in here for hell long. Yeah. To, like, nigga, I'm trying to do some other shit. Yeah. So I just say through my head, I was just like, damn, I got to get right for real. Yeah, like, damn. That was like putting your whole life on pause. Oh, yeah. God. Like, that I really shit. feel like that shit put your life on pause. Yeah, not for sure. Why did you have uh, no features on the project? Because I, I feel like I had too many on my last one. Yeah. You feel me? So I be <laughs> feeling like they had to hear, they had to hear me this time. <laughs> like, they need to hear what I'm talking about. Yeah. Now, I, I think uh, it is good to uh, to let the people hear you for you you gotta is, is 559 maybe your favorite record on the project or which one which one nah i'm i think my favorite record on the project is uh it's out of pressure and dashboard not nah, to the top go crazy I, I too like to the top a lot too that motherfucker go crazy yeah. you feel me yeah as far as like uh looking at your previous projects for like like thug vibes and up one um what do you think is like the biggest difference from those to your know, newest one? Understand uh, the misunderstood. Yeah. Mm. I say my songs is getting better for sure. I just say I, I would say I'm growing, growing more as you know, an artist, somebody that's doing music like you know any other artist would say. You yeah. know, just like you finna try to play better this or like you know you play sport, you finna try to play better this game. You play last game. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, it was, it's, you know, just trying to grow. Yeah. Nah, you get, if you listen to the music, you can see the growth. You're getting better and better. Nah, for sure. And the music, the shit sound good. Like, I, I feel like shit. Like, they, they want to see who's going to pop out of friends, though. It ain't no reason they, you, you know what I'm saying? take off and yeah, put on. That's, that's what I'm saying. On, I'm talking about on the, on the bigger scale, you feel me? Nah, for real. I'm uh, I'm definitely trying to kick some doughs down yeah. because, you know, it's, and it is is you know that's where I'm from. Yeah. From Fresno. Yeah. Who who wouldn't want their city to be one of them, you know, popping city to come to? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna go Houston, Miami, yeah. ain't saying LA when they come to California. Like, yeah. nigga, you know you that shit is like feel good if people be like, I'm from go to Fresno. Yeah, tap in. You get what I'm saying? Like you ain't you don't hear that, like I'm finna go to Fresno. <laughs> like tap in. We trying to do something down here. Yeah. You feel me? But yeah, they they gonna see. They gonna see in a minute. I got some shit in the works. Is is there a moment for you where you say like, I'm gonna take rap serious? For sure, I think I say that. I think I say it every day. I ain't gonna lie, yeah. cause it's like I don't really, I don't, I don't see myself doing like I don't see myself doing nothing else for real. Yeah. Like I feel like this is what it is. This is what it's finna be, or I don't know, but this got to this got to kick off though. Yeah. You gonna drop another project this year? Yeah. For sure. You got a name or anything you can share with me? Or? I got. I, I'm I'm stuck right now, but right now I'm fucking with uh uh. I had a name I came up with the other day. It's called uh a little town trophy and town trophy. Yeah. It's another name, but I can't remember that motherfucker right now. Why Why those names? Cause I just I'm the trophy. Yeah. Like no cap. That's how I feel right now. Yeah. I'm the trophy. Yeah. But no, sure, I ain't gonna lie. You know what I'm saying? They can't they can't say I'm not. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, facts. You gotta come with facts <laughs> if you say I'm not. Facts. Um 
like we hear like the the, the experiences from the music and all that. Like, have, have you ever taken therapy or anything, or how you deal with some of the shit you've experienced? Uh, nah, I ain't I ain't never took like therapy or like you know go talk to somebody. Yeah, feel me. I really just. Do it to the, I do it to the neck. Yeah. I do it on my own. I'm yeah. gonna figure out a way to get to where I'm going through at the moment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. So you smoke weed. Yeah. Like I see you, sure. what about, you fuck with like lean or perks or anything nah, like that. I fuck with perks a little bit. Yeah. I don't really be fucking with too many drugs. I ain't yeah. a big fan of just you being high. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like a cool my cool little high smooth for me, you feel me? Yeah. You ain't saying anything. You probably have a little player cup yeah. here and there, you know, some Remy or some do yeah. say, but I ain't no big fan of just being hella high. Yeah. Like Why I can't I can't do it. I just I be feeling like I be I ain't gonna say like a a lot, like you know, majority of time, but like you know, it's like Doing what you do, you ain't saying you when you doing what you do, you ain't saying, and then just doing music and shit like you gotta be on your toes for real. Yeah, like you don't know who don't like you yeah. for real. <laughs> don't they don't like you don't know who don't like you because you did a song with somebody. Yeah, no nothing. So I just feel like I gotta be alert. Yeah, and I be seeing it like if it be around me, so I be yeah. seeing what niggas look like when they yeah. hella high. Yeah, like oh yeah, you you wanted to die today or something yeah. like nigga, you sleep and you right. can't get out the car. Yeah. They got hell nah. Yeah. I don't, I don't want to be like that. I don't want nobody have to carry me in the house or they get my pants all the way in my knees and shit. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, nah. You damn, you slipping for sure. For sure. Uh, uh, we've been seeing a, a lot of artists running in situations. You feel me? Um, why do you think artists be such a target half the time? Like a lot. <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie. It, it's just be. It's the simple fact when you become an artist, like and people actually listen to your music, like you getting thousands of views and thousands of views, and you know what I'm saying. You become a voice for real. Yeah. Like you, in some way, you influencing some type of people that's yeah. listening to your music. You yeah. become a voice. It don't matter if you got a little fan base. Yeah. You influencing people that's listening to your music. Yeah. So it's like, you know, and especially like, you know, if you doing music with certain people. That already bring problems. Like yeah. I don't know why. You ain't saying that. Yeah. That's on them. And you feel me? That's like they politics. Like, yeah. You feel me? That's real politics. That's yeah. how they go. But I don't care about them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, like you gotta. Uh, I don't know. They they go through a lot. So I, a lot of people would say it's just because hey, you popping. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Especially especially if you gang bang. Yeah. Especially if you gang bang and you popping like a motherfucker. Yeah. You the voice for you feel me, oh, your hood shit. for yeah. real. You just yeah. like even if you not the big homie, you the yeah. voice though. You talking for them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you're gonna be a big target. Yeah. Especially like I feel like in the new era, that's a lot of niggas talking about like the niggas be spoken on so and so and all that. I just bring it more attention. Yeah, that, that should be, be crazy. The wrong attention around. That 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 should be crazy. I mean that, like I said though, that's them. Yeah. You feel me? That's what they do. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? They blood, sweat, and tears for it. Like yeah. you got to, you feel me? If yeah. you gonna kill them, you better come do it. Yeah. I ain't no. Yeah. You know what I'm saying I ain't finna just be dissing. Niggas dead, homies, and yeah. they dead already though. Yeah. So it's like, why? Oh, you, you ain't even got to talk about them. Yeah. <laughs> How you feel about snitching? <laughs> <laughs> <It's>, yeah. <laughs> if you tell it, you tell it, man. I hey, look. You ever got snitched on? Nah, I ain't okay, never got told good, on. Good, I ain't never got told on. But like in in Fresno, yeah. Like if you was tuned in in Fresno, it's a lot of paperwork getting passed around <laughs> in Fresno. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of niggas is just telling. Yeah. That's on them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, but, and it's crazy because nowadays it's like they make it to where you can get past telling. Yeah, niggas are still kicking with you. Yeah, I don't I don't know how that works because it, it was never supposed to be like that. You get, that's why I'm saying nowadays it just everything changed. That's why every I'd be like people be having to understand nothing is like how it used to be with nothing. Yeah. You feel me? Hustling, gang banging, you feel me? Whatever you're doing, it's not like how it when it first started. Because yeah. nowadays, people really be getting passed for telling. Like, yeah. niggas uh, hang with somebody and be like, oh, he ain't tell on me. Yeah. Which, which, which what the fuck you mean? <laughs> he ain't mean telling shit. you. The nigga told a nigga he told. Just, you know what I'm saying? Like, he I don't just, want to be around a nigga who telling at <laughs> he, all. Like, he's telling on people. Yeah. Like, what are you talking about? He didn't tell on you. Hell no. Nah. I don't know. I'm not no. Yeah. I didn't. You feel me? Like, no. 
I didn't cut some partners off for yeah. that. You know what I'm saying? Shit. No. Real shit. Uh, outside of music, what are your hobbies? Shit, I'm not hoping. I like yeah. to travel for real. I'm not gonna lie. I'm big on like traveling. Yeah. I would say that's a hobby to me because yeah. I don't know what everybody else be doing, but. Yeah. I really like traveling. I like sightseeing. You feel yeah. me? Like I just went to DC yeah, you and me seen that. the yeah. How, how was seen, that? Man, man, I used to live out there. This shit was crazy. Yeah. You used to live in DC? Yeah. Oh yeah. You had fun for, for like, sure. Like, almost two years. You had fun for yeah, sure. Like <laughs> and I seen hella like it was uh it was like a Sunday night we was out there. I seen like a hundred no, nah, I ain't gonna say a hundred, that's kinda of exaggerating. Like, I'm gonna say fifty, seventy. Yeah. Motherfuckers is on dirt bikes and quads. For real. Through the street, the police not messing with them, no nothing. Yeah. I'm like, damn, that shit crazy. I went to the motherfucking the monument. I seen yeah. the White House. Yeah. Like this is this is all real. Like you yeah. know, you see it on the news. Yeah. What's going on in the world? When you see it in person, it's yeah. like, damn, it's hella shit out here to see. Yeah, is any other places you want to go? I think it's dope to get out there and travel and see the world. You feel me? For sure. Expand your nigga horizon. You, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> nigga shit that where you from? Nah, some niggas ain't never. Look. Some niggas never leave their city. Yeah, I don't like. I don't. I don't know how they do it. Hey, you gotta love your city for real. Just to, like not up and leave. I encourage all my partners to let's. You feel? Let's go do something. I don't give a fuck if we go out here and do what we doing in Fresno. We yeah. finna go see something different. Yeah. Yeah. It's about seeing. You feel me? You don't know who you are running to. No nothing. Yeah. But like a place I really want to go, at least this year, because I got hella places I want to go. I ain't gonna lie. Like I got hella places I didn't heard about. I want to go to, but at least this year. I'm gonna say I want to go to uh, uh, like overseas or some like one of them resorts everybody be talking about like yeah. Bora Bora and yeah. shit. Be hard like you feel me? That shit hard. <laughs> like and it's possible. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. it ain't like you can't do it. Yeah, no, you can I'm do it. Trying, sure, you, you know what I'm saying? Pay whatever the cost. Exactly. Is. You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> do you believe in aliens or ghosts? <sighs> I believe in ghosts like a motherfucker. Okay. I ain't gonna lie. Aliens? aliens is it's tricky with me. I feel like they I don't know, I feel like they real to a certain extent, I would yeah. say, but then at that point they'd just be real. But I don't know. Aliens? That's like that shit's scary to one to even like <laughs> but the motherfuckers is real. I believe in ghosts though. Yeah, for sure, why? for sure. Why you believe in ghosts? I, I believe in ghosts for sure, for sure. I ain't I ain't necessarily seen a ghost but like you know what I'm saying if you know if like you know if you didn't watch like you know certain shit or like <clears throat> them real documentaries and shit on ghosts and shit like yeah. you know what be happening and yeah, shit like you feel me sure. shit yeah shit that shit didn't really happen before yeah. like in yeah. real life and then I had um my mama auntie Lou she my my mama auntie like Man, her houses was hella scary. Yeah. Like no cap. Like I'm talking about some movie shit. Yeah. Her houses was scary as hell, bro. Like That's crazy. when you walk in there, it's just like a cold shiver. Yeah. Like oh uh, hell no. Nah. You like what the fuck is you going feel on? Me? It? <laughs> like <laughs> hell no. Nah, I'm finna leave. Nah, I, I, I for sure. Uh, I believe in both for sure. I but I was like she. I always wanted to be over there. Like for every real? time I seen her, I got hella happy and shit. But you could tell. It was something about her houses. No yeah. cap. Nah, for sure. It, be, it for sure be some, some houses that's haunted out here, for sure. Some crazy shit that happened in here years before. Yeah, people don't be thinking it's real. They be yeah. hella gangster and shit. Yeah. And, yeah, until it happened. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, yeah, uh uh-uh. uh. Do you have a favorite food? Uh, I ain't really got a favorite food. I, I, I would say a food I ain't gonna never just stop eating is chicken Alfredo. But I don't got no really favorite food right now. Yeah. Cause I be going through my phases where I just won't eat certain shit. But yeah. f- a meal that I'm never gonna just not Chicken turn Alfredo down on my mama with yeah, the breadsticks. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a hit for sure. You can't, you can't, you can't, you can't go wrong with that. You can't. Was, how do you handle people you know that didn't support you at first and now they seeing you having your own wave, having your time? They want to come back. They I, see you about. They think you about to pop. They like, <laughs> let, me, let me fuck with this. Uh, nigga. Let me hit this nigga up. I handle them. Yeah, I ain't gonna lie. I just be laugh. I just be laughing. Like you don't let people. Would you let them back in your uh, life? Uh, kicking it with you? I don't even mess with people for real. Yeah. Like if I mess with you, like I had to know you back like high school, middle school, you know, yeah. elementary and shit. Or we was doing other shit. Yeah. Or like you feel me? Like you know, I didn't met some genuine people. Yeah. 
since I started doing music. Yeah. That's a different story. Yeah. Like, you know a genuine person when you meet a genuine sure. person. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. You know a solid person when you meet them. So, yeah. yeah, I got, like, you know, it's, like, new people around me like that. I didn't met recently, but you you feel me? The vibe yeah. is there. Yeah. yeah. I, I think that it's funny that you talked about, like, people from high school and, uh, and middle school. I feel like something that happens to me at least once a week. Somebody will hit me up from either elementary, <laughs> middle school, or high school and be like, either like, man, bro, I fuck with you. Like, I'm trying to come up and fuck with you. Or it'd be just some random, like, remember, you remember when we was doing this back in the Bruh. day? Hey, I'm people, back, bro. And I'm like, nigga, I don't remember nothing. Like, that. yeah, it, and that'd be the crazy part because it'd be like, Y'all always been paying attention to me. Exactly. Because <laughs> I don't remember y'all, but y'all remember me. You know what I'm saying? Y'all always been paying attention to me. Y'all just never, y'all y'all ain't want to fuck with me. Nah, nah, real shit. I, I, think, I think it's funny how it goes like that. Or even this new era. I think it's funny how, like, social media and, like, Instagram and, like, who follows you and who posts you mm -hmm. will... Will change a uh, motherfucking whole outlook on you. It's like, well, I don't you know. gotta be a popping ass nigga now. Yeah, I guess. So, social media around yeah. the world for real. <laughs> you know I mean? you can't beat crazy. the internet. You're nah, not beating sure the internet. You can't beat the internet. Uh, would you consider yourself your biggest critic? Uh, to, yeah, to an extent, because I be feeling like you know everybody. Like you know, you feel like you can do better. Yeah. You feel like you know I could do this, or you feel like you should be doing this. You should yeah. be doing that. But then at the same time, you like, you know, it's a process yeah. that I'm going through besides when you got like haters yeah. that just really hate on you. Yeah. Like they really just want to throw dirt and shade on you. Like yeah. ops, whatever they is, you know what I'm saying? They really, yeah. they don't like you for real. So you like yourself. You happy with yourself and your skin. They, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't like you. So they would be your biggest critic yeah. depending on what you're talking about. Yeah. Not real shit. Um. If you could pick yourself to be any animal in the world, what would it be and why? A motherfucking uh, a animal. I'd be like a, a a lion or some, or like a gorilla. Gorilla. Or like a lion or yeah. like a gorilla. Yeah. I wouldn't be no reptile. I don't. I don't like reptiles. I'm not a reptile person. You don't like reptiles. I wouldn't be no reptile. That shit is weird <laughs> to me. Like, who would want to be a lizard or a snake, bro? Yeah, like. I, I feel like somebody did tell me there would be a snake, and I was like, eh, I why? Don't I don't know. I, I don't know a why. I, I don't remember. I wouldn't want to be a snake, though. A snake? Like, y'all, you ain't never seen that picture that went viral? Like, a snake would kill itself and not even know. Yeah, like, for sure. hell no. Nah, you yeah. feel me? I would be like a gorilla or a lion. I'd be a lion. I would probably be a lion, though, because I'm a Leo. Yeah. You feel oh, me? Okay. But, like, Shout out to the Leo. A gorilla <laughs> is like. You know who want to be a gorilla? Yeah, yeah gorilla. I mean, yeah, <laughs> boom, you you get what I'm saying? Who oh, yeah, want to be a gorilla? I want to be, wanna be, wanna be a nigga that's gonna be thinking and trying to figure shit out for sure. Yeah, no cap. Um, how you feel about rap beef? I don't do it, so you never had a rap beef. I I ain't gonna say that. You ain't said like <laughs> it, it be niggas like niggas into it with. Yeah, you could you could catch the sneak disses. You yeah. feel me? But it's not a rap beef yeah. because it's like. They don't. They don't know what's going. The people outside don't know what's going on. If y'all yeah. not like, you know, worldwide known ops. Yeah. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Like, you know, mainstream ops. Yeah. You, you know they got problems. Yeah. Like, you know it's rap beef. You yeah. know who they talking about in their songs. All this yeah. shit. You know what I'm saying, but my outlook on like, you feel me? My input on rap beef is, I don't know. Everybody say don't do it, but they do it. Yeah. So, <laughs> like, everybody really say, like, damn, I don't rap beef, I don't yeah. do this, I don't do, but, like, you, they do it. Yeah. Especially when you know what's going on. Like, yeah. we know y'all don't like each other. Y'all talk about each other every song. Yeah. But the crazy part about it is it seems like that's the only time music go up. Yeah. Messy shit. You know, do you feel like if niggas wasn't beefing and they, all that wasn't going on, Fuck the music no. would go down? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. Uh, everybody, uh, you feel me, yeah. they'll probably be around the same amount of views, <laughs> for sure. Ain't no, no. You feel me? Yeah. And let, you know what I'm saying? You gonna have shit that go up. You know, you got them bangers, them club bangers, them bangers for females that's gonna go up and shit. But yeah. if you look and pay attention to music, uh, all the music that's popping for real is rap beef. Yeah. Niggas dissing niggas, dead homies. And, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nah, and it's kind of crazy, though. Uh, somebody had brought this to my attention. He was like, 
it was like, why the fuck the, the, the fans be wanting niggas to do all that? But the fans is be egging niggas on, like, pr- potentially they, trying to kill each other. They got to they gotta remember, is at the same time, <clears throat> or being an artist, like, the career path, I would say it is. is it, well, every career is just under the same entertainment. Yeah. You know, they famous, they celebrities, they got money. They, you feel me? And your fans is people that want to do what you're doing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, I would say, like, fans really, they fans. Yeah. They messy. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Messy. They mess. You got to think, like, come, like, that's what they supposed to do. You feel me? <laughs> they messy. They not doing what you doing. They, like, this is, the, but, so you feel me? People that do music be forgetting it's real life. Yeah. Like. Nigga, this is real life. They don't care about y'all killing each other for real. Yeah. They don't know y'all. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So they gonna egg it on. They gonna see what's finna happen. Yeah. That's like, it's an instigator. Yeah. Niggas used to instigate in high school, middle school. Like, oh, bro, he said he gonna beat you up after yeah. school. He said he gonna do this. Like, what? Everybody wanna see the fight. Yeah. Everybody getting <laughs> off the school bus to see the fight. Everything. Yeah. They fans. They wanna see what's finna happen. Yeah. So, yeah, they gonna egg it on. But you being an artist, you supposed to, you know what I'm saying? You're not supposed to, yeah, you got to know. Oh, right, man. And don't let, don't let niggas trick you out your spot either. Nah. <laughs> nah, not at all, for real. Yeah. Did you have a favorite cartoon growing up? Uh. Uh. I, I don't think I, no. I, I, I did have, uh, I'll say I had a favorite cartoon. It's out of the boondocks and, uh, yeah. that, that cartoon, um. Damn, what's that cartoon called? All the kids in the treehouse? Is uh, it the kids, kids next, next door? door? Oh, my mama, that was my <laughs> shit. That was uh, my was shit. Number one, two number two. and then, Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, outside of music, are there any, like, business ventures you want to have? Yeah. I want to, uh, like, uh, I would, like, you know, but like, merch and shit, like, clothes and shit. I want to fuck with that. But then I want to, I want to really get into, like, uh, like, Open up like like dispensaries, yeah, like weed dispensaries, sure. or like just properties and shit, like garages and shit. Like I, I want to do hella shit. I'm not gonna lie, I got like a, a big mindset for yeah. real. Yeah. I wouldn't. I don't feel like my mindset is boxed in. Like yeah. I wouldn't do shit that I don't think I could do. Yeah. What, what do you want? What else, what is, what's the other things you want to do? Like, pfft, like on a bit, like a bit on like just like a business. Yeah. Yeah. Like, damn, like a business atmosphere, like, fuck, I can't even get it all out, I ain't gonna lie, it's hella shit I wanted to do, like, if I just could do anything, just anything in the world and shit, like, I'd be thinking about shit, like, like buying big ass companies and shit like Nike and Adidas and shit like I really be thinking about that shit like yeah. damn it's people in this world that could really just buy Nike. I was just interviewing uh uh Freeway Rick Ross and he was telling me he was saying like he was making all this money back in the day and he was like he didn't even realize that Walmart only started with ten bands. He was like, nigga, I'm making millions of dollars. He said, nigga, I could have owned Walmart. I could have. You I see what I'm saying? He said, I could own Walmart. I could have bought Walmart back then. I could have bought all that shit. And he said, he's still trying to buy shit, right? You get what he I'm said, saying? Like, that shit like, for real. Why would you believe you could do it? Is that the possibility of it? It could happen. I'm telling you, you can make it happen. That shit for real, like yeah, not real shit. And people don't people and it's crazy because everybody laugh at you and they be like, oh, this man, he just talking and shit until it happened and or somebody like, actually doing. They be like, oh, yeah. you feel me? Like, damn, he was on to something. Yeah. Now they want a piece of the pie. Yeah, that facts. <laughs> uh, do you believe when the artist gets popping, they should move away from their city? That's crazy. You said that. I just had to talk with my my uncle. My uncle that's from New York, and he was just telling me like. You feel me? Because he be, you know, they be around a lot of people. You know, they be around a lot of people, big artists, and she be around a lot of people. It's like, if it depends on how you look at life, like longevity, or you just, I'm just going to do shit for the moment. Yeah. Like, shit, I'm finna have fun right now, wherever happened. Tomorrow, you feel me? You ain't saying I have tomorrow. But like, if you look at it as longevity type shit, or like, you know, you look at everything and uh, you use your head and think about everything. I would say, yeah, like when you get to a certain level, you you probably you gonna 
on mood. Depending on what type of artist you is, though. But then again, that don't matter. Yeah. It don't matter what type of artist you is. What you rap about, bro, they kill you for nothing. As long as you got, got cheese. I, they they'll kill you, you for cheese, nothing. Try to get you. You know what I'm saying? Like, they kill you, you for nothing. Shits, but if niggas think you got money, then you know I'm still, saying? Like, they still feel like you a lick. It's just like, you know what I'm saying? People that's not famous and big, but they yeah. got hella cheese. They yeah. be getting robbed yeah. and all type of shit. Like, yeah. this shit, is, it don't make you no difference, nigga. Yeah. Be Like, you feel me? Just because people be thinking they know you. they think make, No, it don't make no difference. Like, yeah. So, yeah, I, I would say you, when you get to a certain level, you, you will move. I'm not saying run away yeah. and, like, don't go back to your city, but yeah. I will move for yeah. sure. You know, make sure you ain't saying moms, peoples, you feel me, move, yeah, solid yeah. and shit for yeah. sure. But I wouldn't stay yeah. in my city, no. Yeah. For what what they say, talking about? What would you say inspires you? Uh, As far as what? Just, like, to go and get it every day. Uh. The people around me, I say the people around me, and I just had a daughter. Oh, congrats on you that! Me? Yeah, appreciate How it. How's that? It's better than I thought. Yeah. Oh my god, you feel me? <laughs> Everybody nervous. be. I, I I was nervous when it was happening. I ain't gonna cat. I, I was nervous, you know, because you know you everybody saying you better wait to have kids, you know. So it's like, damn, what's finna happen? You yeah. feel me? When she got here, it was like, you ain't saying. You feel like it softened you up a little bit? For sure. Yeah. I was dumb. I was I was hella dumb. Before yeah. I I had my, my, my baby was born in January. Yeah. January this year. You okay, feel me? Yeah. So I really and I was into hella bullshit last yeah. year. Yeah. So when I had my baby, it was like, Yeah, I gotta do something for real now. Like, yeah. you know, I still do what I be doing, but I'm finna do something. Yeah. So. Nah, congrats on the uh, on the baby. Yeah, girl. appreciate that. And you gotta be all every time somebody tells me they have a, a daughter, I always be thinking about uh bad boys when the daughter was going on a date. On the date, the, the, <laughs> 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 that's how I'm to get the daughter. I that's how I'm finna be. Hey, like, dog, no, for mama. real though. Like, <laughs> what y'all got going on? You feel me? Like. But then I got my I got a nephew too, my nephew Amir, my sister's son. Yeah. You feel me? I depending on I I hope I ain't like this, but depending on how it is, like my nephew finna go to prom with my daughter. Yeah. You know what I'm like, saying? Keep it keep it like that. Yeah, you, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> my nephew will go to prom with my daughter. I feel you. I feel you. Now you gotta make sure I, I feel like with dudes, niggas know how they was and how shit some of the situations mm-hmm. they be in. Like you like shit, I'm trying to Make sure my daughter ain't got to yeah. really experience nothing. Like, yeah. No, but you know, it's, it's life. Whatever yeah. going to happen, going to happen. Nah, facts. Um, what would you say is the biggest lesson you've learned in the music industry? Uh, The biggest lesson? Mm. You can't really, you can't, uh, you can't fuck, you, I wouldn't, you can't fuck with everybody. You can't fuck with everybody, yeah. especially you can't fuck with everybody the same for sure. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, can't fuck with everybody. Yeah. Uh, for my final question, I want to ask you: What advice would you give to the younger you? Uh, the younger me takes shit more serious. I don't feel like I, I really was taking shit as serious as I am now today. Yeah. Yeah, the younger me, I would say take shit, take take life more serious. Everything yeah. ain't a game. What, 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 what was it that made you take life more serious? Real shit started happening. Yeah. You feel me? <clears throat> this real shit started happening. Like, you feel me? Yeah. Like, this real <laughs> shit started happening. It's like, yeah. damn. Yeah. This shit for real, like, yeah. nigga, I could have been gone right now. Or, yeah. like, damn, like, nigga, we got to get that bread. Yeah. Nigga, like, ain't, ain't nobody finna just, you feel me? We not finna have our hand out. Yeah. Nobody, like, yeah. nigga, I don't give a fuck if it's your uncle or somebody. Yeah. And they millionaire, nigga, we not finna have our hand out for nothing. Yeah. We finna try to figure it out ourselves. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not real shit. Get it out the blood. Nah, facts. I feel like that way you appreciate it more. Yeah, you you going to, like, come, like, I, I, I don't say everybody, but a lot of people in this world got somebody in their family that got hella bread. Yeah, for sure. And they could be like, let me have some money. Yeah. And you going to give it to them. Yeah. Everybody don't, man, come on, man. It ain't, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everybody go through, you feel me, some type of struggle or whatever the fuck they be talking about, but everybody got somebody around them that got hella money. Yeah. 
You feel me? Unless it's just it's hella it's bad. Yeah. Like unless it's just really bad, bad. Like yeah. you feel me? Some people like I just feel like they just want to do it on their own, so they say they get it out the mud. Yeah. Not real shit. Like, you gotta respect. You gotta respect the nigga get out the mud and create yeah. his own lane. At the end of the day, yeah, that's all. Sure. I really feel like that's all getting it out the mud is, is creating your own lane. Yeah, you feel me? Not fact. Unless you was just hella broke, like your family, like everybody was just broke. Yeah, yeah. you changed the whole yeah. landscape of your whole family. Not yeah. real shit. Uh, you got any final words for for the fans before you get out of here? Uh, yeah, man. We we gonna keep working, keep progressing. You know what I'm saying? Be yourself, do your own thing. Don't care about what, don't even listen to what they saying about you. Because you, you know you. You know what I'm saying? As long as you happy in your skin, that's all that matter. Hell yeah. You already know. Dope interview on the way. Bankroll Radio, I appreciate you for pulling up. Fresno, California in the building. Yes, sir. You're locked in with the innovators. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell.